myself, Dr. Asok Jadaria. I am currently working as Associate Professor in Department of Gastroenterology, Sai Man Singh Medical College, Jaipur, India, and my co-authors also working in the same institute. I am also Director of Asoka Institute of Liver and Gastroenterology, Jaipur, India. The title of our study was Endoscopic Ultrasound of a Guided Coil Embolization and Sinaipal Glue Injection versus Isolated Sinaipal Glue Injection for Gastric Varices, a randomized comparative study. Before doing this study, we were using endoscopy for gastric varices. We found certain challenges during endoscopy. The amount of glue which we needed was very high. As the amount of glue was high, the complications in the form of embolic phenomena were high. Not only this, the amount of glue we needed was high, and the number of procedures of reinterventions were high, number of episode re were high. So we thought that we should use the endoscopy ultrasonography for gastric varices. The beauty of endoscopy ultrasonography is it lo localize the site where we have to inject the glue. Not only it localize the superficial varices, it also locates the perforators within the mucosa, semi-mucosa, or perivisceral area. We may also locate the afferent and efferent vessels. So we have the two arms in endoscopy ultrasonography. One arm where we initially use the coil followed by the sinovac glue injection. And another arm we have used directly sinovac glue injection for gastric varices. In the combined arm, the amount of glue which we needed was very low. It was around 1.5 ml compared to the isolated arm where the amount of glue was very high. It was around 3.5 ml. So the clinical success in the combined arm is very good. Clinical success is that is the complete obliteration of the gastric varices during the procedure, which we can show by the Doppler. In the Doppler, we can show the complete obliteration or the loss of the gastric varices or loss of the Doppler signals. So in the combined arm, not only the clinical success is high, the long-term complication and long-term reinterventions were very low because the amount of glue is less, the reinterventions and long-term complications were low. Not only this, the survival advantage in the combined arm was also good. So in nutshell, I conclude that for the gastric varices, endoscopy ultrasonography guided oil followed by sinovac glue injection, it definitely a good therapy, not only good in the form of the complications, but also good in the form of the success. So success and the survival advantage were half in the combined arm. Thanks.